So did she write to you like she promised? From the United States? Yes, she did. For the next 40 years. She's still alive then? Can't say for sure, but there's a good chance. Can you explain? No. I've had enough of explaining. Explaining to myself. All I want now is to find some peace far away from guilt and loneliness. I'm going to rest now. It's not too late to forgive yourself. Wouldn't know how, even if I wanted to. You won't know until you try. <laughs> Thank you, Fraulein. You'll find the last letter I received from Dana in my automaton. It will give you the answers you're looking for. Thank you. Oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly. No. It's not the proper setting of the key. Oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly. Better try something else. Impossible. It's blocking it. Impossible. Better try something else. No. Things stuck. <laughs> 
something stuck. You should be able to control this body now, Oscar. Let's work together to unlock it and find that letter from Dana. It won't budge. There must be a way of unblocking it somewhere else on the mechanism. It's blocking it. Impossible. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. Things stuck. No. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Wrong one. Ah, oh, it won't fit. I must just looks like I can change its shape. Better try something else. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Ah, oh, it won't fit. I must display the key properly.
No, I don't think so. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. I can't go. No. No, I don't think so.
That's it. I should be able to remove the lock. This lock. I think I need to slide the small moving part nearby in order to unlock it. Maybe I could ask for Oscar's help if I get stuck. No. It's blocking it. Impossible. I can't go that way. I think I can turn the crank now. No, it's not the proper setting of the key. Spring, 1983. Dana sent this letter 20 years ago to Lenny. Dana Goengrish, Manhattan. Her name changed. May 21st, 1983. My dear Lenny, sorry if I haven't written in a long time. Things haven't been easy for me of late. My husband, William Gerngrich, passed away last summer. He was such a remarkable partner and a tremendous support. But as you know, Lenny, there used to be another world for me. The world before. Our world, Lenny. The world of Leon. I've honored my current contracts. But now I feel I need a change.
It was a nurse who worked at the maternity ward at Baden Sanatorium before the war, when I spent some time there. She had stumbled upon a letter written by her superior. It was a strange confession written by the chief doctor who was present when I went into labor. She claimed that the child I gave birth to on April 5th, 1938 was alive that they had seized the opportunity of me falling into a coma to give my daughter Anna to a couple of friends of my parents, the Zimmers. Anna is alive, Lenny. You can imagine, my dear Lenny, that I spent the following weeks searching for my daughter high and low. It wasn't that difficult, even though my daughter's names had been changed.
For a while, I just stood there, watching a woman who seemed to be the center of attention. She looked so confident, joyful, and full of life. She was surrounded by charming friends and a couple of old folks who must have been the Zimmers, her adoptive parents. As I was watching my daughter, it appeared clear to me. I was an intruder in the life of Sarah Walker Zimmer. Mom? This young woman didn't look like me, and inspired nothing in me either. No emotion, no desire to run to her and take her in my arms. Absolutely nothing. It felt meaningless. I just did what I thought best in such cases. I took a trip into her assumed past, just to make sure there were no regrets. I was just about to leave when I heard piano music coming from upstairs. It stopped me in my tracks.
six little notes, pure crystalline, that crushed my heart with an incredible violence. I climbed the stairs like an automaton, guided by the music of the hymn of Wagen. on the main square of Wagen. I never played it again after that. In a child's bedroom, I saw a little girl learning to play the piano. their way to the bathroom. glide over the keyboard like swans over water. That's what our teachers at Wagen Academy used to say. <laughs> <laughs> 